What is going on everybody, welcome back to Civ 5 as Mongolia, last video, actually no, yeah, yeah, last video we took a city from China and we got a peace deal, but um, China just got their unique unit that can shoot, I think it's twice, so we're going to avoid attacking them again anytime soon, Rome is obviously, is it Rome? Rome's got half the world attacking them, I'll bear that in mind, but yep, yeah, next up we're going to go after this Indian city up here in the north, it's not very useful, but it does have a lot of furs, which I think could be quite useful. And let's get education straight away. Because that's important. We want some educated Mongolians here. And sadly I think either the demographics are broken. Or one of the sieves is broken. I'm very confused. Uh, Siam. Yeah. Let's be friends. Yeah I'm not sure what it is. But for some reason. Unless I misread. Oh no I misread it. Okay I misread it. Never mind. Um, I must have put another stat. It said for a minute that someone had 8,000 here. They don't, so it's okay. I was very worried to how they had so much money, but they don't. It, it was just broken. It's good news. Um, we should build down here. This is kind of like our most important city now. Um, so maybe we should go with the castle, but I do think we need a bigger army because we are Mongolia and we should be first realistically. But we're not right now. Um, hello. How have we? We we always see that. Was this city always here? But I would have noticed that. But either way, um, yeah, we're just going to build up our army, get ready, and stop doing any trading or anything with Gandhi, because we're doing still doing quite a bit. Oh, someone lost their capital. That sucks for you. I have no idea who they are. Could be someone in Africa or somebody somewhere else. Can I upgrade anything yet? I think I can upgrade my horsemen. Yes, there we go, Kashyyyk's inbound. So, this is big. This is our, this is our time to shine. We need to start getting a move on. We're doing stuff, so we'll start very soon. <clears throat> probably before the end of this video, we will start and probably take this city over anyway and start the beginning, the Great Mongolian Expansion. Oh wow, yeah, our capital is kind of in a poor spot. <laughs> 70 turns till it grows anymore. I can probably manage that differently, but I'll see. Um, let's have a look, actually. What are we? What tiles are we working? So we're working that one because that's a good tile. We're working that one. Is there any one... There's not many much else to work, really, that would be any better than what we've got, so there's no point. Um, plus 15% production when training melee units and a great general appears. A great general would be nice. Or discipline 15 for melee units. Discipline or warrior code. Let's, let's go this way quickly. If we can get this as well, then we can get all that bonus XP. We'll have some remaining units, and as you'd expect, we got Genghis as our leader. Uh, that's not a surprise, is it? I think... That probably always happens. I don't think that's luck. Maybe it is luck, but um, I'm pretty sure that always happens. If you're Mongolia, how far can these Kashyyyks go? Oh, that is pretty good. Um, yeah, let's start moving them over here. Another horseman over here. Yep, there you go. Another Kashyyyk. Right, you're all in the way. <clears throat> oh, they've got to cross the river, so it's going to take a while anyway. That That's fine. Um, let's see next time. We need to keep an eye out on Vietnam, because this just appeared. What the heck are you doing, Vietnam? What are you doing? <laughs> why Why are all your pikemen here? This is alarming. Um, especially since they're probably the sort of units I want to avoid. Ah, yep, there we go. What the heck? Where did this come from, Vietnam? I wasn't expecting this. Um, today, I'm going to be honest, not going to lie. I wasn't expecting to have to start early and deal with the Vietnamese war. But apparently that's what we're doing today. All right, you get on the hill, get that good position. Kashyyyk's. You are probably going to suck against pikemen. That is in the back of my mind, but get over here. Catapults, you're a bit far away. But yeah, like, try your best. Um, try and get over here. Let's see if we can just sort of... They're trying to come through a very small gap, although they have actually got troops coming through Shanghai, which is alarming. Um, China, you really you really need to do this, China. Do you really need to screw me over like this? Uh, we need everybody. Everybody coming down this way. If it's actually going to let me get them all over here. There we go. And next turn. This <clears throat> this is a surprise. And there's a lot of Vietnamese troops. Where did this come from? You guys were all telling me it would be fine just to go conquering the whole world. Apparently not. Yes, India. I don't not. I, I can think I've got another 30 turns of no war with India. That's all I can guarantee. Um, these guys are probably going to die. That is not good news for them. That is not good at all for them. This is not the start I wanted. Not Not the start I was looking for. 
but they didn't kill any of my units just yet. <laughs> they are very close to. Uh, let's try and kill the stuff that's nearby, because that's always smart. Got a new catapult. Send that over there. Kashyyyk, finish them off. And survive. Oh, wait, they can... can they, do they have a melee attack as well? Um, a ranged attack. Is that why they're special? See, I, I have no idea. Oh, you can't... Okay, you can retreat over there. That's good. Yourselves over there. Let's just see, we need to try and get as many catapults as close to the front as possible, basically. Um, <clears throat> that way we can... Yeah, you can't actually do anything from there. So retreat so the catapults can go a bit closer. Make sure no Vietnamese troops come this way around, which is very possible. Uh, Kashyyyk, you can go to the front line, but that's not smart. We just need to defend the city and not really get into any trouble. And we should be fine. Uh, and get this great general into the city. Good. And everyone else just sort of get up close in case we need to do anything. But yeah, it's kind of difficult. I mean, we just need to make sure we get some good ranged units around here to do the job that we need them to do. And let's get another caravan. I mean, <laughs> not the best time, but hey, why not? And uh, next turn. So yeah, they're going to be pushing in from all sides, which isn't great. I was not expecting this today. Yep, India, we've got to be best friends now because... Uh, oh, if Gandhi helped me, that would be amazing. Vietnam have a lot of units. So do we. I mean, it's just ours are not in the most useful of spots. Oh, if we could bombard that unit. Oh, they killed my catapult. Are you serious? Just like that? You really got to do that? Okay, let's try and kill them. Come on, please. Oh, we, we actually need to make sure this works. Oh, that pikeman is taking ages to die. That is not cool, game. Come forward, get ready. Um, this is not the start. So let's try cause a distraction. Go over there. Um, another catapult. Come in, and another one. Oh, stupid. Move out the way. Um, get over there. There you go. We're probably gonna lose more units. I'm just trying to see if I can spot anything. Can you? I doubt you can shoot over the mountains. Yeah, that's right. You can't. No surprise. We got an artist. Let's create that great work. Finally, get some uh, get some tourism because I, I take it we're not the best place for people wanting to visit right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, luckily they only have they don't have any sort of siege units, so I doubt they'll be able to take my city anyway. Research agreement. Yeah. Why not? More science. <laughs> I went from being about to attack India to India's best friend, and we need to stop Vietnam from getting too strong. So that's what's going to happen if they win. So we need to, we need to hold them off. Luckily, uh, another unit was killed, and my Kashyyyk is now surrounded. Luckily, you can get back over the river. That's good. Can you hit anything from there? No. I have to wait till next turn. Luckily, like I said it's going to be forcing their troops into a very small area, <clears throat> which should make it difficult. But I mean, I wouldn't call it impossible for them to do some serious damage there we go and you can't hit anything again just yet but yeah we just have to wait like that and hopefully they will they will stupidly try and surround the city i mean there will only be two tiles they can attack from as long as i keep that tile here between the rivers i should be able to hold off pretty easily with just the catapults nearby uh yeah why not have open borders that's fine um I'm not in a position to be going to wars at the moment, Attila. Don't know if you you know know what's going on over here, but you know, it's pretty important. If I could like grind down that whole army, you never know. We could they kill another unit? Oh no! But we got another great person, which is good. Engineering stuff. Oh yeah, I'm not spying. I'm an idiot. Who's got the most technologies? Save me, info addict. India. Okay, twenty-eight. Well, any of these civs. Let's not spy on India. Let's spy on not Vietnam. Let's go to Germany. They seem like people we should be spying on. Oh, move. There we go. Go to Berlin. There you go. Um, okay, we actually need to step our game up a little bit here. This Kashyyyk is dying a lot. Um, it's good to know. Can you run away? Yes, you can. Good. And I would like to stick another catapult there, but that would not be white. Is this another great general? You stand there. Where's the other one gone? Oh, we moved back. Let's kill them. And then, can you hit anything? Oh, you can. Good. And you push onto there. And you should be safe, I feel. 
Oh wait, you can attack. Wait, why could you attack this turn? That is not, it's not usual, is it? Pretty sure it's not. Um, hang on. Okay, yeah, you got bombarded. Run away again. <clears throat> okay, Genghis, just stay there. Also, I can slap down a citadel soon and steal some resources from somebody, but I don't want to do that just yet, because obvious reasons. I need the generals and all the bonuses that come with them. Okay, there we go. We should be fine this turn, because we weaken them quite considerably. And, yeah, there's only a few pikemen here now. Yep, more money. I can do with all the money coming in from Greece. That, that's good, which is ironic, because Greece don't actually have any money in real life. Um, here we go, and they didn't attack the city at all, and they tried to retreat, which was dumb, because now I will slaughter them. Go, kill catapults, kill. Yep, there we go, one down. Can you hit from there too? Oh, that was close, but yeah, this has been a good strategy. The mountains <coughs> coming in useful. Eventually, once I got my troops, my catapults in the right place, we're able to hold them off. And is this another good deal with Greece? Yep, there we go. I think they're just renewing deals we already had, but it's fine. Allows research agreements, we're about to get access to some, a university, which we can build everywhere and boost our science as quickly as possible. That would be good. Yep, it seems like they've already given up, the Trung sisters. They're no longer doing anything. They've just sort of frozen. I don't think they're expecting to lose, mainly. Did I lose? No, I didn't lose a trade route. Go to Beijing. That's a safe route, by the look of it. Hopefully. Please don't get pillaged. And yep, we've driven them back already. Um, that, That's great. Kashyyyk, over there, uh, what should we build, let's build a castle, because I mean this city clearly is going to be won, we'll probably be fighting for more, so yeah, let's get lots of castles for the extra XP, do they give extra XP, no, that's something else, that's the barracks, but the extra city defence, because this city is going to be like a fortress with these mountains, these rivers, as long as we can hold off the Vietnamese through this small little pass here, rough terrain, it's been a good time for us defending this, very very good time so far anyway let's try and kill you can we get you oh we're so close but yeah they are fully retreating now could you imagine we could take a city in the peace deal that would be that'd be pretty amazing but let's get those universities up as quickly as possible where are we looking at on the tech tree it's machinery it's the crossbowmen faster movement on roads physics is there yeah let's go with this because faster movement on roads will be excellent because I don't think, there's still not a road to this city out here. I know what the workers are doing. Um, but they should be, they should be getting on that as quickly as possible. <clears throat> um, no, I don't really want open borders with you. There we go. I'm going to start trying to get more money out of my trade deals. I might have just sort of been taking anything that comes my way. But now I'm going to just sort of focus on money. And that's Siamese money. Yeah, that's definitely boosted my economy a little bit. So that's good. And Vietnam has definitely given up. They're not even retreating this unit properly. Uh, they literally just left it there to die. Bismarck is plotting against Bulan. Let's not tell, actually, Bulan is the Khazar. I mean, he's pretty weak. Anyway, we may as well inform him. Can I... Thank you for bringing this German plot. Yeah, he's pretty weak now, so there's no point, like, not taking him. If it was like Russia, I'd be like, oh, yeah, let him fight it out. But Or Attila. But, no, wow, you've got a big... Big capital, yep, there we go. Research agreement with Rome. Open borders, no. <laughs> we can be friends and all, and I'm sure you don't like it. Do you... Ooh, I wonder what it would cost to get Siam to attack Vietnam. Just wondering how much that would cost. So you want open borders, and you're willing to give me six gold per turn for it. That is the best deal I think I've ever been given, ever, by an AI. That is incredible. It's not on the AI's part, the AI was stupid, but... um. So for you to declare war on Vietnam, where are Vietnam there? What do you want for this? There's no way to make it work. I thought he was going to be like, oh, I'll do it. It's fine. It's free. Um, okay, he doesn't want to do that, which makes sense. They're probably like his best friend, in all fairness. But let's just see this war out, and then we will send the army back up to where it should be to go and do the job that the Kashyyyks should be doing. I mean, we could always go after this city here, but it's in the desert, and it kind of sucks, and... You know, maybe it's not the sort of city that I desperately need. Only a minor warmonger penalty, though. Maybe I'll try to get it in the peace deal, because I think, according to the demographics, we are the happiest civ in the world, apparently. Who, who would have known? I haven't looked at the info addicts too much, but the demographics, I had a quick glance at, just to see how we were doing, compared to some of the civs 
course, in the other side of the world. Who is this? Oh, that's Arabia. I was going to say, who are you? Russia and Germany just entered the Renaissance era over here. Germany is still alive at turn 180 in a TSL game. That is that is pretty impressive. And they've got Berlin, more importantly. That is, that is the big thing there. I mean, they've not been, like, banished to some random part of the world. Get that granary up, because you are in the middle of nowhere, city. And let's see if we can negotiate a peace deal. Um, you are aggressive, and you deserve to lose stuff. Unacceptable. They still think they're winning, which is kind of crazy, because you definitely didn't win, Vietnam. You you got banished back to where you came from, so I don't know what you're thinking there. Uh, yeah, Rome, I, I don't see why not, you know. <laughs> Let's let you in. Have a look around. I mean, there's no, 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 no losses there. Um, sadly, China is lining up more troops over here, which is kind of worrying. More chokanoos. Maybe I need to focus more on building up military units. Uh, yep, we're on great good terms. But at the moment, as long as the money's building up, it doesn't matter if we don't have the largest military in the world, as long as it's, it's how we use it that counts, of course. Great old saying there. Hmm. <coughs> Spain's denounced the Ottomans. Okay. Great Britain has denounced Rome. How is... Rome, Rome is getting on fine, considering they're at war with a lot of people. Um, Greece obviously did lose one city. Where are you going to go? Beijing again is going to give us plus eight. So yeah, let's keep trading with China. Seems like a wise thing to do. Plus eight again. Yep. Okay. Well, that's good. That's more money. We're about to get that first university as well. So some smart people are going to start coming out of this Mongolian Empire. At the Karakoram University. Whoa. What a great time, eh? 55 turns to grow, wow. Um, meanwhile here, we're about to hit 11 populations. This is definitely our most important city down to the south. It's probably more important than our capital. I imagine production isn't as good because, you know, it's not a capital, but eventually it might even outstrip it. You don't just want, like, a white piece? Oh, there we go, that works. <clears throat> okay, troops. <laughs> well, we uh, are already at India's borders, but the problem is I've, if I attack them now, it's kind of backstabbing. Did you build this road? Yeah, you did. Um, Kashyyyk's rush over here. It's going to leave a few troops going. Okay, so you need to go and defend from China. A couple of catapults should do the job. Uh, you come to. Let's leave. Actually, no, you're going to stay here. Go back down there. And uh, you come with me. Citadel with me. Is there anything on the border with China that's any looks nice? Anywhere I can steal part of the Great Wall with the Citadel. I can't get those furs, which is kind of annoying. Um, you could always slap it down here and split their empire in half. That would annoy them greatly. Let's do that. And you wait. I don't know. No, that I want to keep Genghis. Dang it! Why did I do this? <laughs> Go back over here. Wanted to get rid of the other leader. Uh, we've got a lot of caravans and no cargo ships. So I think a caravanursery. Is that really what it's called? Caravan... Caravansery? Not a caravan nursery. A caravansery. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be pretty useful because we've got a lot of caravans. Even though only one is actually coming from our capital. Which probably isn't so smart. But hey-ho. That was an interesting bit start, wasn't it? Wasn't expecting to be fighting off Vietnam at the start of today's recording session. But hey. Got to do what we got to do. Choose production. More Kashyyyks. I feel like a catapult would do nicely. Uh, swordsman, you're going to the border with China. Excellent. Everything else. Keep heading up towards India. And all of their stuff. Um, yep. No. Oh, we've got open borders with them anyway, so we can just sit inside the border if we need to. Uh, we're going to get a huge penalty, that's what I'm kind of worried about, but um, it'll be fine. Uh, we've held off everybody so far. No, nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Everything will be fine. But we'll just have to worry in the next video. So, as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment. If you are new, it would be awesome if you could subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.